All right. As I uh, promised in my last video, my uh, Captivate Quadrant Score review that I did. Um, here's a Motorola Atrix 4G. I'm going to show you a couple of little uh, modifications that we did to the software on it. Um, battery in these things. Um, it lasts pretty darn well. It's a good competitor with the iPhone. It does heat up, however, which really sucks balls, but uh, you know, at least it lasts. So it doesn't burn your uh, burn your body parts through your pants either. So don't worry too much about that. But, uh, so loading this up, I have a Gladiatrix on it, which uh, you can pick up on xda-developers.com. Uh, very good site, you know, they uh kind of a real helpful bunch as long as you don't ask them too many noob questions. Um, if you do have an Atrix, go to atrixforums.com. Uh, they are really helpful, a lot of tutorials, pretty much learn how to root your device, put custom firmware on it, pretty much do whatever you want with your phone. Um, there's lots of different advantages to putting custom firmware on it. Here's the loading screen for that Gladiatrix. And the uh, the theme of Gladiatrix, you can either do th with theme or without theme. Um, you want to do with theme because it doesn't really even change the uh, the look of it. So, all right, fingerprint scanner on the back. Let's unlock the phone here. Sometime today. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, I've got some custom. Uh, launcher icons down there. All I did is a uh, background on one. Oh, there we are. Loaded me up way on the other page, but um, I have uh, Launcher Pro Plus on this. Actually, one thing that I, you know, rarely do is pay for something, but uh, I paid for that because. As you can see, it gives you some pretty good options with theming on here. And I'm sorry about the, uh, as you can see in the highlight, this um, Atrix phone is actually um, not my phone. <laughs> the ladies. So I'm just using this to take this video. Um, speaking of uh, phone covers, though, I did get a really cool looking uh, Skinnit cover from Skinnit.com. And I'm going to get that in the mail probably tomorrow. I'll do a review, see what it looks like on the actual phone itself. Um, it's a full body skin cover, so uh, it's supposed to cover even the, this bottom area here. So that's going to be one thing that, I, that I'm going to uh, review over and see how that looks down here in the bottom. That's the only thing I'm worried about. How is it still going to be um, touch activated buttons, soft keys, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, it covers the top as well as um, the back. You know, it doesn't really do the side, so we'll have to see. But uh, the speeds on this. Quadrant, they are pretty much right on par with the speeds that I got with my Captivate in the review that I did before. Um, just loaded it up. We'll do one quick test for you guys just to show you. And the uh, I.O. on this, the um, you know database writes take a long time for some reason. And I've tried a couple different firmwares on it, same thing. So just uh, bear with me here. Frame rates, I uh, wasn't too overly impressed with it. Um, right now, you can't really overclock it. You can get a uh, firmware that you know, supposedly allows overclocking, but it hasn't been uh, cracked yet. So right now, it's uh, you know really not overclockable. Let's see if we can get that in focus. Frame rates right now about 35, kind of on average. Now they're up to 59. Um, right here they're about 34, 37. That's nothing too extravagant. This is uh, 59, 60, flashing back. Still not, you know, as impressed as I would hope to have been from it. But there's many other graphical benchmarks. This one's actually outdated, Quadrant is. So there's some other ones that you know people should be doing if you're really worried about the uh, Quadrant scores. This time around, I actually got less than uh, 
than the Samsung Captivate, which is about a year older than this device. Um, I got 2,119. Uh, where you're going to really see the shine, though, is something that's built for the uh, dual processor, and the dual core processor, I should say. Um, let's see. I'm going to load up a different program. Here. No, we'll do Linpack for you. So you can actually test out the uh, the processor correctly. Look how fast that was. 34.7. That is pretty damn good. Let's do one more. One benchmark. Um, usually the second one around is a lot better. Um, it's about the same. 34.05. Oh, uh, what the hell are you doing with that Thunderbolt ad on there? Get that shit off my screen. Okay. All right. So we're going to show you a couple other features with uh, you know some benefits of rooting your device, um, doing some other things. The, um, as I said, the Launcher Pro Plus that I put on here, buy the license for it. Download the free one, then buy the license. Totally worth it. Preferences, you can set up everything for your dock, your home screen in here. Um, you can set up backgrounds behind your buttons, which I did on your loader. Um, another thing with uh, Gladiatrix, which is really good, you get uh, it ha hacks your Wi-Fi hotspot capabilities. So you can actually start up a Wi-Fi hotspot wherever you want. Go into settings here. Show you guys how that works. I don't usually use it because I have Wi-Fi everywhere I go, but uh, mobile hotspot. And we'll just enable that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to use your hotspot, call 611 and pay too much money each month. All right. Turning on. Let's see if it's actually working. Worked the other day. Data link is set up. All right. Without paying any money for it. Perfect. Cool. That's what I like to see. So we're going to turn that off. No sense in leaving that on right now. Um, one other great capability. If you have a high def TV and you still have your high def cable that came with your phone and you don't want to pay for the uh, lap dock, which is just a shitty excuse for a uh, laptop since you don't even get full-blown uh, Linux with it, which, you know, if you look into the forums, there are people running Ubuntu on their phones. But uh, for me, just for browsing, watching some Hulu, uh, it's decent, you know. So we'll uh, put this in, give you guys a little demo. Plugged it in, it prompts me, and I don't have to have any device, just straight HDMI into the TV. So we're going to go ahead and do the Motorola web top on the top. There, so I just chose that. Loads up. Now I select the channel. And there's the uh, Motorola logo. It's loading up. All right, and we have our desktop here. Um, basically, the trackpad. It's right here. You can left click, you can right click. If you need to type, you can open up a keyboard it's by touching that. There we go. Okay, so yeah, let's load up some Hulu. Just give you guys a little demo here. Now, audio does go through your. Uh, um, HDMI cable, obviously, which everybody probably knows in this day and age. But everything's resizable, so, you know, kind of a crappy excuse, like I said, for an operating system, but it's, uh, at least it's, you know, working. Phone's being kind of laggy today, for some reason. But uh, there's Hulu on my TV, and with that Gladiatrix, you're actually able to watch movies from Hulu. And you don't have to pay for Plus or any of that bullshit. But, uh, oh, let's watch some Family Guy. Now, here in my area, they do not have 4G, and I'm not running on... Uh, Wi-Fi right now, so I'm just using the uh, 
3G, living in Montana, can't expect too high speeds. Um, you know, they just quoted us that we're going to have 4G in the year 2013. If we even make it that far, I mean, what about 2012, guys? Hell. Come on, you guys. I'm going to buy it the most yeah, expensive thing <laughs> Yeah, I'd like 6,000 chicken pajamas, please. It's beautiful. 6,000 chicken pajamas. Full screen. See, it's, it's all right. So, and then you're done with it. You just want to hook it back to your TV. Okay, good deal. All right, so overall, it's a pretty decent device. I'm going to do a few more reviews on it. Um, as soon as you actually can do some overclocking or there's a lag fix that's actually worth the shit, um, I'm going to go with that. But right now, I'm not really too overly impressed. You know, some of the graphic uh, graphics you can get out of this eh, is decent. Like, we'll show you guys um, Samurai 2 game. It's actually made just for the, uh, the Tegra. Samurai Vengeance 2. Some uh, pretty cool Japanese music going on in the background. Resume. All right. Now, obviously, I'm not Octopus Man, so um, I really can't, you know, play the game too well and hold this shitty cell phone in my hand. But it's they're pretty smooth graphics. Pretty impressive. Let's see if I can do this one hand. Come on. Oh, shit. Come on. Now, see this? That's one thing that sucks. If you're playing one-handed, you know, you're definitely not going to love this game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. There you go. Graphics are pretty pretty decent. They look good. Um, so, I mean, the game's uh, processing capabilities are great. Might not be the best uh, benchmarker. But uh, it's reasonably good. Man, I hope that's not a tattoo you got on your face there, man. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so if you guys have any other questions about where to find any of this stuff, check that out. Pretty cool, huh? Um, just send me a link, send me a message on my videos, like the video. Um, hopefully, you know, if I keep doing reviews from people, uh, maybe I'll get a decent camera, you know, if I'm getting views and um, you know, some comments and stuff. So, uh, give me some feedback. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if you need any links or any help on how to do any of this stuff that you see here, let me know. Thank you for watching.